Hey guys, Sharif from One Up Reviews, and today we've got a sneaker review and an unboxing of the Adidas Nightball in Crew Navy. Before we get into this review, guys, if we're new to our channel, remember to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you never miss any of our latest reviews. Snap that thumbs up, we want to see those likes, it helps us with the algorithms. And show some love in the comment section below. We try our best to reply to every single comment thrown out our way. And I just want to take this time to thank all our existing subscribers, new and old. Thank you. Without you guys, we can't, well, we won't be able to do any content. So thank you. Let's get into it. So this is the Adidas Nightball. And we got this in the Crew Navy Wild Sepia colorway. And we got this in a UK size eight. It's a US eight and a half. And it's a European 42. There's Let's have a look and here we go for those that don't know the night ball is inspired by the night jogger it's one of adidas's originals like their running line and it to me the sole unit kind of reminds me of an oswego as well just the silhouette the whole shape of the sneaker so it's like a blend of that i don't think that is what adidas intended but that's what it reminds me of so let's start with the outsole and this outsole is an all rubber outsole and i love what adidas have done and have incorporated that three stripes there in the middle it's beautiful to see going along onto the midsole unit so this midsole is a light strike foam injected and it's all surrounding and even at the back you can see the little logo that says light strike as we move along onto the uppers so this whole sneaker is a blend of leathers you can see it from the toe box and it goes along to the middle and lateral side and it's there at the heel that's just one of the outlays and at the lace so you look at that paneling, it's all suede. And just underneath that, you've got a lot of heat press plastics and mesh on the underlays. Again, going back to the middle and the lateral side, you'll see the three stripe. And what's dope about this is that it's coming underneath the leather panels that are here. As you move along onto the lace, so it's a quick lace system. You don't have your traditional eyelets. And what's dope is that on the tongue, it's a removable logo. So you got the Adidas logo there and on the little foamy bit that's here, which is a nice touch. Now these sneakers, they were incorporated for street ball. That's what they say on the Adidas website. Uh, to me, street ball is street football, but what I think that they mean is basketball because it kind of reminds me of an adidas hard hardened volume by the look at the midsole unit and there's a lot of foam so i'd imagine that to be used for basketball and there's a lot of protection a lot of padding around on the heel that you can find and if we look look along here at the back there's extra pad supports there and you got the little 3m dots the insole, you've got an Adidas original insole, and I just want to mention that the toe box, it reminds me of an Air Max 95 toe box. Now, I don't know where Adidas have got their inspiration from, but yo, this is so reminiscent of an Air Max 95. Oh, you know, I'm not accusing Adidas of anything, but yeah, I'm just saying as it is. With that aside, I just want to say that these sneakers kind of remind me of something from the Star Wars pack. I don't know if it will be like the Django Fett or Boba Fett, but it reminds me of one of the bounty hunters, like Mandalorian, maybe. But yeah, there was already an Adidas Mandalorian collab. I was just saying that because these kind of remind me of that. Anyways, with all that said and done, I'm gonna try these on. It'll be exciting to try one of Adidas' lifestyle sneakers that don't have boost. So yeah, roll that footage of me trying these night balls on.
comes to the fit guys, I recommend that you get your true size Adidas fit. I just so happen to be a UK size eight. When it comes to the comfortability, that's the word, to the comfort of the sneaker, it's quite comfortable. My toes are here. And just one thing I'm gonna point out about these sneakers, it makes me feel like I've got a wide foot. That makes any sense. It feels like uh, there's a lot of, no, I wouldn't say space, but it's a lot of area, if that makes any sense, uh, along the width. And I, I feel like I've got a really wide feet when I put these on. But that might be just a personal thing. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow us at One Up Reviews with a Z at the end on Instagram. Until next time, peace.